and pledge of allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we've all read the media, uh, minutes from last meeting. Somebody want to move that? Bruce makes a motion to approve, and uh, we got a second. Mike Willis and seconds. Okay. And it's approved. So, building permits. Somebody want to make a motion on those? I'll make a motion. Or is there any question on any of them that you know? Anybody got a question? Mike uh, Lassard made a motion to approve the uh, building permit, so we got a second. Personal second. We got a second. Uh, everybody in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Now we can talk, Bruce. All right. <laughs> so the board agreed to sell them five feet of our property so that they can get an adequately sized garage. Well, we, uh, we kind of gave them a variance to build on what they had, which is like a foot off the line. Yep. But in order to, being just an older section of town, <clears throat> so five feet, if we give them five feet, that doesn't mean they can add five feet on and still say off that one foot mark. Right. Unless we do another variance. Well, what's the width of their garage going to be right now? Um, I can't tell you exactly. All I know is that they went over and found the pins and, and it... Uh, was within about a foot. Well, we told them that if they want to do that, we'll we'll agree to it. They got to pay the legal fees. Yeah. And a buck a square foot. So. Which I wouldn't have a problem with because the museum probably wouldn't have a problem with it either. But and being there, there would still be plenty of room. Yeah. So, yeah, well, but I think we'd have to do another variance on there to, if we were going to move that. When did we approve the variance on that? Oh, that was quite a long time ago. Yeah. Because we went over last summer, yeah. I think. It was just after they tore the garage out. I believe. Yep. Yeah. So, well, we'll see what they. Uh, yeah. They talk to us again, okay? Yeah. I guess. Well, you let us know if you get paid. Yeah. Or, yep. Are you selling them or giving them or? Selling them. Selling them. A buck a foot. Okay. Yeah. So that's got to go through the lawyer. Anyway, yeah, and they got to pay all the legal fees, yeah. so they may choose not to do anything because, yeah, that could be prohibitive. So, curb and gutter went in, uh, they were working on that today. Yep, they've been working on uh, getting the curb and gutter in the last week and a half, I suppose it is. Uh, they plan on putting sidewalks in uh, the third week of uh, October, hopefully before any cold weather comes so they don't have to use cold weather cement. So, and then uh, we approved the bonding uh, at the last commission meeting, and so that went out and finalized on Wednesday, if I remember correctly. Um, I didn't catch the insurance rate. We were hoping to get it from 2.75 down to 2.25, and uh, I didn't check with Ashley uh, today to, to find out. but. Yeah, this working and we're hoping that some of those lots will sell then. When I talked to John, it was uh, six, including my acreage, was uh, 
you know, they had uh, basically put down payments on. It. Sure. And if we could get, if we have a nice fall, you know, uh, I've been talking to getting some, getting some contacts of builders in Fargo, West Fargo and Wapaton to see if we might be able to get some spec homes or if they would be interested in coming up and, and buying a couple of the lots and doing their own development. So I'm working on making those contacts. I haven't reached out to Grand Forks yet. i got to do that. And I, I'm going to see if I can arrange uh, the Fargo-Moorhead Builders Association to see if they would come up or some of them come up for a meeting in Hillsboro with Pat and John and take a look at the project yeah. then. So we had another follow-on meeting about roads today. Uh, Steve and, and uh, his engineer came and it's going to be more expensive than we planned so we're going to have another planning session and uh, then I think we got to go to the county and talk to them so Dave and I will try to get over probably not this next county commission meeting after our meeting but we're trying to time it so that we can figure out when to go to the uh, commission meeting probably that first one in uh, in uh, November that first Tuesday and because the Caledonia you know and the uh, going out uh, on the south side I mean those trucks they're using it and it's got county signs along Caledonia so I think that they should be paying some of that too to help out with the street improvements I think they did last time that's what I thought and an extension of 11 you know did they do some work with that too but you know, and the trouble of it is, is that Anchor's really becoming pretty successful, so your truck traffic has tripled, basically, from west to east, you know, the, the two facilities. And you can kind of tell those are pretty heavy, uh, you know, weighted trailers that they're pulling there. You can see the dips where the truck past my place. <laughs> is a bad <laughs> And uh, so, uh, and again, uh, we provide the gravel for the gravel road down there, and and it's getting really washboardy and stuff too. So we're going to try to see. I'll hopefully be able to get a hold of. This week sucks for me because the meetings I have at Grand Forks, but get a hold of Tom Eplin and see if you know, kind of prep him so that uh, you know we can take it to the county commission and see if they could take and pay part of that. So um, and that, I guess that's about all that we have on the city side that uh, that we can share right now. So, so what? What roads are they going to work on then? Are we talking about are the whole talking? city? The whole city. Yeah. <laughs> we we would like to if we if we do it, you know, do it all at one time. Uh, part of that will be digging down and replacing some of it. Some of it's just an old lake and uh, you know variables like that. So um, AE2S is working on developing that, and they'll have to come in and basically help us talk to the public about it. But uh, I think. To say it mildly, that uh, Dave and I were pretty shocked at the price. <laughs> so, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, it was like, Dave, you got to be me. So that uh, that we'll have to take a prep for. We also asked for options of if if we can't do it all, how do we come up with a really highly uh, streets in need of repair initially. I know there's a couple that have huge holes in them that, you know, we might just try to patch up over the winter time until next year, you know, depending upon how this goes. Uh, the bid, if it goes out, we would be looking at uh, probably a February bid for the project. So. Yeah, I think we need some uh, <clears throat> some input from. <laughs> Before you throw well, something like that on them. Yep, I think the citizen should have a chance to, uh, you know, again, come up with it. That's why I think the current plan that we'll do is, you know, put it all out there initially at a commission meeting after we got our ducks in a row, get the feedback from the citizens, and then <clears throat> have options of where we can maybe lob off some of the expenses for it. But nothing's going to get cheaper either. That's the unfortunate. My only problem is, is that we got new going in at Riverwalk. Now we'll have new streets in the whole city. And how will that, you know, I'd like to have them staggered so that you're not coming up with these big bills all at one time. So I asked Jim if there's any other needs for special assessments and in the near future, and he didn't think that we've got uh, 
the uh, water and sewer, we got that uh, grant and for 46%, I think it is, and then the rest of it on a loan. We got uh, the bond issue out there, but uh, he didn't foresee any new specials what's, that we have. What's to left do. on those specials? On the current ones, uh, 2023, we have river walks all done. No, I'm talking about the water plant and the water tower. Yeah, I got uh, the water tower goes in, I'm trying to remember, there's four that go out in 2023, and I think the water tower is one of those. And then you have uh, some of them that are longer term, like Highway 200, Street, and, uh, and Water. Some of those are going out to about 2029. They, I had, uh, I had uh, actually bring up a, a spreadsheet so we could see all the specials. Is there any city sales tax going to any of that? Um, the AGDC is helping with the uh, Kingman sewer, so that sales tax would probably be applied to that, some of it. Um, no, I'm talking when the project first was initiated, was there any city sales tax going in there? Because they, back when I was on the commission, when they redid the lagoons out there, we threw city sales tax on that. That's a question I'll have to ask Ashley. I'm not sure my, I didn't look at that. Because All I looked at was expiration of that. That, that was, you know, infrastructure is one of the things for the city sales tax. I did ask that uh, they go back and check uh, about the, uh, we got uh, Prairie Dog money last year that we, we got in the bank this year. Uh, we should be getting another round of funding from uh, Prairie Dog this year and then another four years. So I asked them to go back and find out from Bismarck what what we would be getting and you know how long it's going to go. Uh, so last year's was just a partial payment. It wasn't a full payment because we had the, uh, the issue with the oil revenues not coming in. So I asked uh, them to take and get that data for us and Ashley. And then uh, we did decide that, uh, again, since Prairie Dog can be used for uh, curb gutter, you know, flood drainage and some of those things that, uh, you know, how we would be able to apply that across the city as part of the street project too. Because Loyal Avenue on that curb, we have to do something about the flooding there. So that goes into that second pump over there. So that's part of this street project too that's added into it. Are they gonna put a second pump in over there? It's an option. It's an option. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is, where are you going to pump it? Well, it's got to go. It's got to, it's it's gonna gonna go, go to the, the ditch. It's going to go to the ditch, so come to my corner. Yeah, go <laughs> so through the ditch. Yeah. So, but the other option would be is to put that little valley in there, you know, so that it gets up to a certain level, then it drains to the ditch too. So, um, I think that Jim is looking into where we have the primary pump that goes into that, uh, goes up a couple blocks and into the main. No, that, it goes it goes further than that. It comes all the way down to the elementary school. Well, I, I know it's a long ways. There, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We're in a couple blocks. So we're looking. Well, to me, that's a couple blocks. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but uh, the uh, the uh, you know the option of having that second one, I think, to see they're checking on the capacity of that would be an option because I understood it when we talked to them that that primary pump isn't isn't pumping as good as it should. So. And that's that's pumping pretty full when it's yeah it, that doesn't have enough capacity the way it is that pump that's in there yeah and so putting that second one in would help push more and get it going so but uh, yeah there's let's see A B C D E F there's six options the one that we really wanted them to go back and double check on was the uh, A D A the uh, making for the ramps on the streets, the sidewalks, you know, basically doing that. They had programmed 273 into the project, and that was a pretty considerable cost. So Jim asked if there was a way that instead of having two uh, on the sidewalks going, you know, to the same, to the, the opposite streets, could you have one and then wheel around and basically get uh, onto the other side? So. That was and that's doing on every corner in town? Yep, instead of having two on every corner, yep. And there's a bunch of them that have been done in Caledonia, and they were, geez, how old were they? It was in the first project anyway. Then they had 
th there's that panel that has to be in there, that yeah. reflective panel, and so they weren't sure how many of those might have to be retrofitted. That was another expense that we didn't uh, talk about. So is that a requisite that on a curb you put all those in and every quarter? We're, we're asking for clarification if we don't, if we have to do that or if we can get by with one or can we take and extend it out for a longer period of time. So that would be a, an area where we might have some savings. But we want to, we have to, John Julson will have to give us a, a legal uh, determination on that if we have to have them or not. Or if we can do one and not do two. So the other proposal that Jim said is, is can you have one side of the street that has all the ADA compliance and then the other side of the street doesn't have to do it because you have a route and then advertise those routes around the city so that you have a plan for handicapped uh, mobility basically with that. So those are a couple of questions that we asked for clarification on. And then the other ones uh, would be uh, out uh, along uh, Total Egg, Dagelman, and then the new uh, entrance into, uh, you know, doing those, probably putting concrete in for semis out there. So that's another option that they, they gave us a, a list, like I say, six with the primary and the ADA, and then four others that basically we have options to look at. So that's the way that the list will come across for the citizens when we present it. So, but it's eleven million dollars is what the yeah, cost but, is. Yeah, but concrete out there. That's it's, it has realistically to, that shouldn't be taxed to the citizens of of Hillsboro. Well, it's city street. But the people in the city don't get any benefit out of it. Now, where are you talking concrete? It's also so right Dagelman's. On yeah, that, on yeah, that town, to go down that uh, partial to Dagelman's. Township so, road. Yep. And then, uh, then we're across just to hook up to the street going on a river walk. That small part. The trouble is, is that my understanding, I'm not an engineer. When you come to an intersection for the semis, you have to have cement because when they stop, you're sitting there. So it's a, a, a more expensive portion of road right at the intersection than it is for the rest of the, the, the street or the road there. Yeah, I so. understand that, but I don't see why that would get in the same assessment that no. the, the, the people that live in town. Yeah, it's, it's an option, but there's going to be people in, living in town on the west side, too, so we can't, we can't say it's east and west. It's going to be, people are going to be paying taxes and specials out there, too, so. And yeah, it might those, be, are, those are businesses. No, there's going to be residents out there, too. In front of Dagelman's? No, not in front of Dagelman's. That's, that's the area I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, no, that one's not. <clears throat> that's just simply, basically, to get rid of the, you know, basically for uh, transportation purposes. So, and again, it's an option, you know. Well, the new section over here on that south curve loop there, that street, somebody's got to fix that. That's just crap. You know, Which one are you you know who should so fix that? So you go down from your desk around the curve. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that's... I mean, it looks to me like there's drop-offs in there. It's got about two inches of, of asphalt, the way it looks, because it's just all... Well, that one's got to be three or up. four foot wide. It's, it's, I drove it the other day, and I went, geez, this is a damn drop-off. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, I knew when, when, I, I knew when, you, when you build that. for four years, there's all yeah. that equipment. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, wasn't there something that if they're building a house out there, I, something jogged my memory. If they destroy the street, they're supposed to repair it. I guess I haven't heard anything, but God. Or maybe I was just talking to somebody about that. But yeah, that was huge equipment, and then you bring those cement trucks and those uh, yeah. those portable, you know, spouts. That, and you can kind of tell where they put their braces down too when they get going. It's but that whole street, you're right. It's it needs to be done up pretty bad. And the other one at Caledonia and two and uh, eighty one, you know, is moving. Looks to me like in the center where you get that manhole in the center. Yeah, but now you're talking. State, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but 
and, and that's not one that's not part of this project, but they did talk about redoing that because it is a hazard. Okay, of, uh, I got a question. Here, here, here's something for you. How about the state on Caledonia going to two hundred? Well they've got two hundred signs on our light poles. That might be a good option for us too. Like I say, we're going through the county because the county's gonna get it. Then right now this week, my understanding is the uh, legislator, the legislative committees are getting together. Burgum's put out what he wants for a budget for the six hundred and ninety-seven million dollars that's coming from that we have sitting in the bank from the the uh, the pandemic, and he's put into his budget a hundred million dollars for infrastructure. So I'm hoping I asked A2S to go back and go okay. How is that going to get allocated? Is it going to go to the, the counties and uh, townships are going to get a bunch of money? How are the cities going to be able to take and cash in on that? Well, it'll go to the county and sit there. Well, <laughs> I'm still torn up at the county because they didn't give us anything that we requested for the pandemic. And uh, really? that would have been an help. Nothing. Nothing. What, where's the money? Sitting over there. Guess what all the new entrance to the uh, courthouse and all that stuff is getting paid out of? And then they said, well, we don't want to spend it because we don't want, know what it's going to cost us. I'm going. Yeah, but isn't that money directed to us? Well, other counties, what they did is they, they took their cities within the county and they stretched those dollars out. They allocated so much money to go to the cities. Trail County chose not to do that. They kept it all in their central coffer. So. And then you had to apply, basically, for the money. <coughs> Every time that we applied for it, they said, no, nah, that's, that's not something we want to spend well, money maybe, on. maybe we shouldn't have approved that building. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should make them pay a couple million dollars for that permit. <laughs> so, yeah, those are things that we'll be checking out that Ashley's trying to run down. But, uh, yeah, it, and if we can get some of that infrastructure money along with Prairie Dog and spread it out across the whole city, that hopefully will drive down our costs. So, uh, so I'll... How's Joyce doing? Um, she is not, as far as I know, she has not gotten back to us after the commission meeting that we let her go until the first commission meeting in November for her to come up with the, you know, how she's going to resolve the situation over there. And I apologize. I thought that she had taken stuff out, but she's just taken a little bit out. So well, she's, she's been there off and on now. The yeah. Last couple of weeks. But there's a lot of stuff over there. And uh, so we gave her, uh, you know, the option to come into the first commission meeting in November, tell us what she's going to do, or we're going to come in and pursue, you know, the condemnation of the building. So, which she's not going to like. She thinks she's going to be able to sell it, was the impression I got from her letter. Is that the way you read it? Yeah. I'm going, who's sitting at this table would want to buy the chicken scratch? <laughs> yeah. Unless it's for a dollar. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> yeah. And you get to keep everything in there. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I think Glenda told us that she was still using it as the homestead tax credit because she was living up there. Mm. Well, she's not living up there anymore. <laughs> so I'm kind of she's going, a, geez, that's kind of fraudulent, isn't it? She's yeah. got a handle of address, right? Well, you know it, it, it was yeah. the Ada one, wasn't it? The last uh, on that the last letter. Yeah, she's moved she all around. Ada, and now she's she's retired from that motel over there, and now she's living in Hendermeyer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it hopefully, and she thinks it's a good structural building too. That's the other part that we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> How would she you thinks know? that thing is? <laughs> That's what I. And then you know, Tony keeps saying he's getting all kinds of water off her. Her roof comes up, you know, down on his building. So, but mm. then that's another one that you know Mike will probably have to take a look at, but. You know, what if it goes either back to taxes or what if she says, okay, I can't fix it up. I'm just going to give it to you for a dollar. Now, again, it's a city expense to tear the damn thing down and make it uh, a productive area again. So so it's kind of a catch-22 in a way. Yeah, but that, if it goes back to, back on taxes, takes then the county years. gets it. Yep, and then they'll give it to us for a buck. No, the... How can he give it to us for? We don't. We shouldn't have to pay for it. Well, we had to pay a dollar for Riverwalk, didn't we? Or River, uh, Prairie View. <laughs> but hell, I'd pay the 
dollar. <laughs> if they give us some money. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's where Joyce is at. And do any of you have a you know a working relationship with her? Or the reason we gave her all I can tell you is that she made dang good cake donuts. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah, but remember how it was a secret recipe? <laughs> yep. And when we got donut batter from up at Grand Forks Grocery and cooked donuts for the scouts. Tasted exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so you were hoodwinked. And... Hey, hey, this is way before you guys did the donuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is when she first had the place open after she bought it from Paul. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and then she's having surgery. I guess she's got some eye problems, and so we figured we better, you know, at least give her some time to to work her way yeah. through that. And she you couldn't know, come can, to the meeting. Yeah, so. you can understand that, but it was a woe was me letter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but uh, we'll hopefully have some sort of a resolution at the first commission meeting in November. But, uh, and the sale went through on uh, support? I don't know. I assume it did. I'm going to stop in and see if I can buy some of the tables and chairs from them. I just haven't had a chance to get in there yet. So, last I heard, it was I don't know if it went through, but you know, the, the, he made the commitment he's buying it. So, it sounded like the girls over at the vet office it sounded like it did. Yeah, they, they figured yeah. they were looking at next spring, I think, or something. I, I want one of those old bar stools from up, upstairs. You know, I, I don't know if he's even walked upstairs to look at any of that stuff. There's a lot of stuff up there. A lot of junk. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I just a... I just want one for my ground blind. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I don't know if he's even aware of what's up there. <laughs> okay. On the other hand, it was I was asked a question. So, you got somebody that's looking to build out by the golf course there? Yeah. Uh, uh... Alice, Allison. Allison yeah. and Brian? Yeah. They, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, they want to hook up to city water and city sewer. Now, are they going to have to take and pay the percentage extra for those two utilities? Like these like, people out here like I do. and out there? <laughs> that was my understanding. The way Jim talked about it was is we would sell to them, but they, and what we negotiated, Mike, was is that they have five lots, right, Mike? Yep. Five lots there. They're at the very end one. And so we said that we would allow them to hook up to our systems at the line, and then we would charge them. They'd have to pay us for the utilities. I assume there's going to be a surcharge like anybody else's yeah. outside. And then if there's any development on any of those other four lots, then they have to come back, and then we have a chance to take in the annex set. So that are, they, are they going to take and pay for the they will run the so, lines from so our work upgrade if they develop those other lots because right now we're Jeff Nelson's houses or who lived there no. that's not that's not a large enough line we I, talked yeah, about this I, I think the they realize that, that yeah. they'd have to go back farther into that right into away that back manhole there. area yeah cuz Jim did talk about that but we're just providing them access at our line, and then they have to put their own in up to their house. So, well, he, and the lift did. I, I can't was, remember how Jim did talk about the lift that it wasn't adequate where it was at. Because they we, would they would need a lift for those five lots. Yep, there. and that's when we said, okay, you got to come back. If there's any development, then you know, even if you're selling footage. You have to come back to the city, and we get to decide if we're going to annex it in or not. Which we kind of, I think, well, we're the, the, all. Of, Mike wasn't there, but I think we all felt that uh, <laughs> you know, it would be annexed in if there's any development, new development out yeah, there. Yeah, I was asked a question about the extra surcharge yeah. for electrical, and then you you don't have do you have city sewer out there? Mm -hmm. No, and then you'll have have to have another one for the city sewer. Yep. But now, he's running a septic right now, right? Who? Brian and uh, his, what, what's the... Uh, Allison? Allison. They're running a septic system right now, if I remember correctly. 
Well, aren't they going to tie into the city sewer? They were going to do electrical and water. Now I'm trying to remember if it's going to be city sewer or not. Well, they can't put a septic system in there. No, it's existing already. Isn't no, it? There's not. There's no, no existing septic out there. No. So then they would. Be so then they'd sewer be tying in. in. Okay. Yeah. That would be a smart thing. It would be cheaper well, to it tie in. Yeah, it would be way, yeah, yeah. Be not to do it. I'll have to get more clarification on that. I know we talked specifically about the uh, the water and the electrical. And then we made the, uh, we said, okay, you can buy it from us. But if there's any new development, then you have to come in and we're going we're gonna to probably annex that whole area then. So bring it into the city. Because we'd have to do the rest of the improvements. So... So I suppose he'd have to have a de like a developer's agreement for us to look at. John was going to take and do the uh, the legal background and uh, a contract basically that uh, would go with it. Yeah. I should start bringing my commission meeting notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, this other one, this email I got was about. John stopped up here and said that there's two people building fences that don't have building permits and wanted to know if we wanted to go talk to them or if they, this uh, city hall should send them building permits. Well, where are they? One of them is Ketterall, wherever he lives. Okay, he, they, that has, I heard that hadn't started yet. Well, I'm just... Uh, this, and the other one is in. Uh, what the email is. And the other and one I is. I can't think of who the other one is. Yeah. Kittleson? Yeah, they're both K's, right? Yeah. One's in Prairie View. And the other's in. The other's in River. River. I can talk to Missy. She's putting in a, a fence behind for the dog at her place. So it's Missy's yeah. fence we're talking about? Yeah. Missy. Get her. Yeah. Because Mike moved up. He's living up by you. They're divorced. Huh? Yeah, they're divorced. Mike. Mike, Mike and Missy. Ketterill. He doesn't live by me. Yeah, there's a little brown house up uh, on the north side of town. It's where he moved into. You're the very end one, right? I'm the very end one. Yeah, and that whole block he, is full. Yeah, and he there's, just... There's my rental, and then uh, so there's two Spanish families, and then there's Donovan Mouth. I can't remember if it's on your block or if it's the next block to the south, but it's a little brown house. And there's the ones that live in Prairie View? And okay. Missy lives in the, the house, Across their the house street. That, that she got in a divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can talk to her. I, yeah, I, I was, Deb did say something there about they were putting posts in to put a dog pound in the back there. I didn't ask I just. Her. She just mentioned it today when I stopped in there this afternoon, and I said, well... About these fences? Yeah, I said, send them permits, so... Oh, so you already... Oh, so you send it. Yeah. I just read the email before I come up here. Oh, yeah. I said, we aren't going to do anything unless we got a permit. <laughs> uh, so. so we got two properties, you know, that are, I don't know, mixed up in a drug sale or something, the one over by Dollar General that's been sitting empty and got... Junk repossessed sit, sitting on the outside of it. Are you talking about the repossessed one or are you talking about the junk? I don't know if it's repossessed one or not. There's the new one. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. the one that was repossessed. Okay. Right. And then you got the other one across the street and down at the other end of the block. Mm-hmm. So the and, cars disappeared. They did? Yeah. When did that? I don't know. I just drove by there one day and the cars were gone. Really? <laughs> Well, we should really send a letter to whoever owns those. I know what the hell's going on. Let's see. We had a letter go out to who's the one that uh, I can't remember the names that they, they don't have electricity over. Oh, is that Sasha? Yeah, oh, Sasha. Sasha Holster. Yeah. Oh, they don't have electricity. So we're, we're sending water. a letter out. Or water. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. What? How the hell do they do it over there? They have an electric toilet. They do. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do make them, so I was kind of like... <laughs> well, we used to, at camp, we used to have incinolets. You know, and we had a propane tank out back. Five bucket, five gallon bucket. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they've got plenty of 
stuff outside that can hide a lot of things. Huh. They probably got an outhouse back there tucked in behind all those things. Oh. So that one a letter did that uh, we we did agree to take and send the letter out to them at the same time that we did Joyce. So, so they were working up a letter for that. Because um, we, again, think that that's a health hazard if you don't have no. Well, plus that stuff is way out beyond the sidewalk. Okay. So it's all for properties. So. Yeah. And then I noticed over in our neighborhood, over by the armory there, that, oh. that one house it it just gets getting worse and the worse. Yeah. They did take a whole bunch of stuff out, and then they bought a whole bunch of crap back in again. So I don't know what... The one on the highway? No, it's the one that's back uh, a oh, block oh, into the east yeah. there, that log cabin Dolores style. Dolores Lunsford's house. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I noticed that the uh, the White House, where the, the gentleman we, we were worried about burning, he was burning a bunch of stuff. Uh, see, I was gone this weekend. Must have been Thursday or Friday last week. He had another fire going out there. So Isn't he trying to burn down that stump? It, it might be that he's trimming it. I know he had a whole bunch of uh, dead branches and stuff in the alleyway that he's been burning kind of on and off. But this one kind of looked like it might have had a little bit of oil or, or fuel in it or something. So it was dark smoke. So burning that stuff out. Wow. But uh, I noticed he was also working on some windows or doors over on the highway. On uh, Connie Martinez. Place. Yeah. And so, but. That was a fail. Okay. Because it was gone the next day. It was laying in the yard the day after he was working on it. And then the next day it was gone. It's gone, okay. Yeah, I noticed it, it's, it's amazing how he gets stuff done with, you know, just part of a body, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know about that car that he's working on, though. There are more pieces gone every day. Well, <laughs> you can't even sell that. You can't even tow it. It doesn't even have any wheels on it. No, no. And then uh, I noticed that the uh, the log cabin one, they, they've gotten another vehicle that I think is partially parked there now, too. So you see them drive that station wagon? Oh, my God. Well, I came home one night, and uh, there was a Suburban sitting there. And it must have been full because everything was out on the street behind the Suburban. I mean, it was enough for a good pickup box of that stuff. Yeah, and I'm, my eyesight's getting bad, but the uh, I don't know who all lives in that house, but there's a gentleman up underneath the Suburban. Hell, it's like almost dark, and I'm no no light, and he's wrenching underneath by the, look like the shock absorbers and stuff, and I'm going, I'm going to help you even see what, they're, what you're trying to do there, so... Yeah. Now that's all I got, I uh, think, from the city, so. Yeah. Well, somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? Bruce makes a motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Second. Mike second. Mike, sorry.